If you guys want to learn how to make this car spawning system in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a car spawning system in Roblox Studio, the updated version. So basically, my old video was outdated, so I decided to update it today. Okay, so the free model will be in the description, and I know the title says how to make a car spawning system, but the problem is, is that it took me a long time to make, and the coding was about like 40 minutes long, and that's just boring to watch, and also it would take forever to edit, and I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, so I'm just going to go over the scripts instead. So firstly, sorry. firstly, we have a folder in workspace named cars. This is where all the cars that the players are going to spawn is going to go into. Next, in replicator storage, we have three things. Another cars folder with all the cars, a remote event named spawn car remote event, and another, and another remote event called board car remote event. All these cars here are the ones that are going to display in your GUI, busy rotating around. And then we've got two scripts in subscript service. The first one's a leader stat script. It basically just creates a leader stat for the player and it's called cache. But if you have your own leader stats, you can delete the script and I'll show you what to do later to change the leader stats. Next is car handler. So whenever the spawn car remote event uh, gets fired, it gets the car name and then it loops through this car fo cars folder in workspace and if it finds your name anywhere in that folder it's going to destroy whatever the object was so if you had a car then it's going to destroy it and yeah so that there won't be multiple cars in the server and then next it creates a, a, a clones the car so in server storage there's a new folder named cars and this is the ones that you'll actually be driving those ones back here were the ones that were just rotating in the GUI. These ones you're that you're actually driving. And then it puts it into the cars folder in workspace. And then it changes the name of it to your name, uh, apostrophe S, and then the car name. So it'd be like Retro Amethyst Jeep or Retro Amethyst Car or Retro Amethyst Blue Car. And yeah. Then after that, it gets the player, it checks if the player is uh if the player has a character and if it's got a primary part. If it does, then it gets the position of the primary part and then gets the orientation. And then it sets the car position and orientation to match where the player was. And then it waits 0.1 seconds for the car to load into workspace. And then it loops through the car and looks for a vehicle seat. And then it sits you down in the vehicle seat. Next is a board car remote event it gets the price and the currency name which you'll see later and then it minuses that from the like price how much the price was okay so next going into the gui so it's called car spawning gui and if you want to edit anything you have to enable true and then immediately you'll see this cars button you can change this you can change the color the font everything and then to see the car spawning frame, select it and say visible true. You can change everything here from how everything looks. Just make sure you don't change the name of anything, otherwise it will break it. Okay, so then next, um, the setup script. So all these cars in replicator storage, it uh, goes through, it loops through every single car. And for every car there is, it gets this template inside of it and it clones it and then it puts it into this car's frame. So it basically does this, it clones it into the car frame and it says visible true. And then it changes all these like the price, how it looks and the car name. So I'll just quickly put that back. Oh yeah, if you want to edit it, then just drag it out of the script into car's frame and set visible to true. And then change the font and everything. Just don't change like the name. And then the UI grid layout, you can change the size of these to like 200, like longer. I, I like 150 because you can get two right next to each other okay let's put that back there visible false so basically it sets the name and makes it visible true and puts the car name of the car that it got here into the car name label and then it gets the price of it and if the price is zero so if you guys want any free cars in your game then it will change the price to free but if it's anything above that then it'll just set the price because if the price was zero for one of these like the jeep if it's zero it would say price is zero but it looks better if it's just free 
and then after that it clones the car again uh, it clones the car and then it puts it into the viewport frame and then it sets up a camera and it gets the distance of the camera and it like positions it in the spot where the car is and then there's just a while to do here that um rotates the car so it looks nice um so yeah that's basically all of that then next is the bias script so when something gets added the child added when something gets added into the cars frame which is this the template when it's when every template gets added into here what happens is it gets the buy button from it and then the car name of it and then it detects when that buy button gets clicked and then here's a bunch of stuff so firstly we've got a variable named car spawn wait time that's this thing right here so this basically stops the character or stops the player from spamming the spawn button and spawning like 10 cars at once and it just lags the whole server that's just that's just not nice and then it gets the player then it gets the character and then it gets the humanoid from the character and then it gets the price and then the currency name here so if you have your own currency and you delete this leader stat script go to the currency name in the gui and change this to your currency name so if it's money or um coins or jewels just change this to money make sure that the name is the exact same as the leader stats let's change it back to cash and it checks if the buy button is spawned so if you've already bought the car then it's going to check if you're sitting so if you're not sitting because if you're sitting down and you spawn a car then it's going to glitch because like it overlaps with everything so if you're sitting is if sitting is false then it's going to uh, go to the next bit but if you are if you are sitting then it's going to tell you to stand up and it won't spawn it it sends it sends a notification here basically so then next it checks if the car spawn wait time so if the time is up for you to spawn another car then it's going to set it to five so you can change this um, number here to like 10 or whatever that's the amount of time you have to wait in between each car spawn and then it uh, uh, fires a spawn car which we already looked at here the spawn car okay so then next over here so if it detects a spawn then it's going to do this but if it doesn't say spawn so if you don't have it then it's going to check your leader stat for the currency name that you put and it's going to check if you have more or equal to the price and then if you do then it's going to say success you bought the car name and then it's going to um, fire the bought car which was over here we uh, bought the car it minuses the price of the leader stats on the server side it's better to minus the leader stats price on the server side because it, then it won't change it will change for everyone it needs to change for everyone if it just changes for you then uh, it glitches and it's weird and it's just not nice and then it sets the text to spawn which then this bit will receive if you click it again but if you don't have enough then also you don't have enough of the currency name that you put here okay so that's all of that and then there's just one last thing the car spawn wait time and it's got a bull value named counting down so there's a local script here and it checks whenever this uh changes so back in the buy script it changes it to five so this script is going to detect when it gets changed and if it's greater than zero so if the wait time is greater than zero and it's not counting down then it's going to start counting down and it's going to repeat this until it reaches zero so no matter what um you put here it's still just going to count down to zero so every second it's going to minus uh one from the value until it's zero and then it says counting down to false so that is all of that um i'm going to quickly show you how to add your own cars so the car spawning frame just set visible to false and car spawning gui enabled false so set it all back to the original because then you don't have a gui on your screen when you're busy making your game okay so to add another car to the system get your car model i will get something like this i'm gonna say oh yeah we'll get this and then uh okay jesus got like a bunch of things here i'll just you just make sure you've got the car model and then i'll just rename this to mercedes and then you can get rid of the thumbnail camera and then put that into the server storage the one you get straight away from the toolbox put that into server storage and then clone this and put it into the cars folder in replicator storage 
and then you want to get rid of all of the scripts because these we don't want the scripts in the um in the thing that's busy rotating because if it's rotating then it's going to try and run all the scripts and we don't want that same as the sound we don't we don't want that uh all of these we don't want this we don't want this we just want the car model we don't want anything else um these all just look like mesh parts that's fine and wheels uh yeah that looks good so now now we just have the car model and make sure a primary part is set otherwise it won't work preferably set this to something right in the middle of the car because then it rotates around that point um in the in the viewport frame it rotates around the middle of the car or the primary part so it's better to be in the middle otherwise it's going to be a bit off when it's rotating so try and find somewhere in the middle if you can't find anywhere in the middle like this one just set it to the drive seat i guess um yeah i'll just set it to the vehicle seat then drag it there and then you'll see these ones have these two attributes price and camera distance so in your car add an attribute and set it to number this one will be price and then make another one with another number and name it camera distance so distance there we go so these two are going to be important so the price obviously the price of the car this one i'll put it in like forty thousand. and then the camera distance this is how far away it's going to be when it's busy rotating so you have to just mess around with this normally 15 or 10 is good uh let's just see so mercedes okay it is kind of far away and something's busy lagging i think it's that mercedes yeah the mercedes is busy lagging it i think because of all of these maybe so yeah um change the camera distance uh, 10 would be better let's try that there's something that's trying to do yeah i think it's the sound and it's busy lagging yeah so mercedes it's uh you can see it's not rotating with these ones so to fix that uh drag all of these into workspace and also make sure the car is like underground that way if there's any sounds coming from it the players won't really hear it so you'll see i lined all of these up the make sure that your car is rotated the same way so 90 or oh, zero 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 there we go so make sure it's like in line with all of these i'll just move that over there so now they're all straight like that and now we can put it into the cars folder now we play you'll see now it's rotating with them there is something lagging i think it's that mercedes um but yeah let's quickly change the leader stats let's give us a bunch of money so you can buy all of these a billion now let's buy the mercedes let's buy all of these now let's spawn the mercedes and there was a problem i think i didn't have a primary part yeah okay so in the cars folder make sure it also is a primary part just set it to the drive seat and then here you don't need the attributes the ones in server storage don't need the attributes it's only the one in replicator storage so now we can play and there was a bunch of errors i think that was from the mercedes so try and find cars that are not too script heavily and also it'd be best to make your own cars if you're making a proper game these ones by roblox are the, like the ones that lag the least for me and there was something wrong no that's all of that now we can go we can drive this thing is super laggy and for some reason it didn't spawn me in the car seat i think it was because it didn't have a car seat i'm not sure i'll have to check but you can see these ones spawn me right in it boom and this one this is obviously isn't the best car it was just one i found from the toolbox so yeah uh that is it for today's video uh bye guys